When a charged particle moves through a magnetic field, it experiences a force. So here we have a magnetic field into the page, and we're going to have a charged particle entering from the left. So a charged particle, when it moves through a magnetic field, it experiences a force. So we're going to have a positively charged particle entering this magnetic field here. A positively charged particle moving to the right is the same as a conventional current moving to the right. So we could we could write that as a current in this direction. So if we have a, cu a cu current in this direction and a magnetic field this way, we can use again our right hand slap roll to see the direction of force on the particle. So when this particle reaches this point here, what's the direction of the force? Right hand slap roll, our thumb in the direction of the current to the right, the magnetic field is into the page, so the force on this particle slap is to the top of the page. So it experiences a force in this direction. That moves the particle to this point here, where it's now moving in this direction at speed v. A positive particle moving in this direction is equivalent to a conventional current moving in that direction. So again, we use our right hand slap rule. The current is going this direction. The magnetic field is into the page. The force must be this way and we'll draw the force this way. A force on this particle here in this direction will move the particle up to here. And now this particle is moving in this direction with a velocity v. A positive particle moving in this direction is, is the same as a conventional current moving in that direction magnetic field into the board, it'll experience a force to the left. Force. The path of this particle then is going to be circular, which we will see later on when we look, start looking at mechanics. Similarly, if we inject a negative particle into this magnetic field, a make a negative particle moving this direction is equivalent to a conventional current moving back this way. So again, let's use our right hand slap rule to see the direction of force on this negative particle moving in this direction with this speed. Moving in this direction is equivalent to a conventional current this way. Magnetic field into the board this negative particle experiences a force downwards. And we'll write it like this. That again will move this particle further down, so it will now be here. Moving in this direction now. A negative particle moving in this direction is equivalent to a conventional current moving in the opposite direction. So let's have conventional current, magnetic field into the board, force, right hand slap roll, forces in this direction and again as it moves further down traveling in this direction equivalent to a conventional current this way magnetic field into the page force this way and just as the positive particle moved in a circular motion in a magnetic field a negative particle moves in a circular path the opposite direction The force on this charged particle is equal to B Q V. Force in Newton again, magnetic field strength in Tesla, charge Q in Coulombs, and being very clear on this, this is the velocity in meters per second.
We have here another question using our equation here, f equals bqv. An electron enters a 0.6 Tesla magnetic field traveling at 250 meters per second. Given that the charge of an electron is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulomb, calculate the force on the electron. So we're injecting a negative electron into a magnetic field. The magnetic field strength B is equal to one point, sorry, 200 and, is it, no, the magnetic field strength 0 0.6 Tesla. The velocity is 250 meters per second. And the charge on an electron is equal to 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulomb. So the force on this electron BQV is equal to 0 0.6 times 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs times velocity 250 meters per second. Calculate that and we come up with 2.4 times 10 to the negative 17 Newton. The second question, the magnetic field was acting out of the page and the electron entered the field from the left traveling to the right. Sketch the situation, draw and label a force vector showing the direction of the force on the particle as it enters the magnetic field. So the magnetic field is acting out of the page. So it's coming at us like so, our magnetic field coming at us. And we're told that the electron enters the field from the left traveling to the right. So our electron is coming in here. And we're to draw and label a force vector showing the direction of the force on the particle. So at this point, we've got a negative electron moving this direction. That's equivalent to a conventional current going this way. The magnetic field is up out of the page, so the force must be directly this way. The, the electron moves to this point. It's moving in this direction. That's equivalent to uh, conventional current this way. The magnetic field is up, so the force is this direction. And again, we can continue this on in a circular fashion, circular fashion. At each point, where the electron travels to, the force is, tra is at a right angle to the direction of motion. This particle comes in at 250 meters per second. Because the force is always to the side, there's no component of the force in the direction it's moving, so it's not speeding up or slowing down. So its constant speed will be 250 meters per second. Another question. A charged particle enters a magnetic field and follows the path shown in this diagram. Use the values listed below. Find the size and type of the charge, whether it's positive or negative. So number one, let's find the type of charge. Let's use our right hand slap rule again. The particle is moving in the circular pattern. That means the force at this point is down. So our slap, our force is down. The magnetic field is sticking out of the page, hence the dots, is sticking out of the page. That means the current is to the right. So that means the conventional current, that means positive particles are moving to the right. So this must be a positive particle. So right hand slap roll, right hand slap roll, slap roll. It must be a positive particle moving to the right. And the size of this particle using our equation F equals BQV, we need to find the type of charge, the size of the charge. So we want to find Q. So let's rearrange this equation. 
and we have Q is equal to F divided by BV and so it charges the force 3.2 Newton divided by the magnetic field strength 8 Tesla which is a huge uh, magnetic field strength it's very large and velocity 200 meters per second that gives us an answer the charge is equal to 2.52 sorry by 10 to the negative 3 coulomb now after this you should be doing some of the questions in the workbook and in the textbook and for the moment you can be looking at education perfect as well so that's the charged particles in a magnetic field next we're going to be looking at induced currents